In the last video, we saw how reactivity increases down groups 1 and 2 of the periodic table. The increase in atomic radius makes it easier for atoms to lose their valence electrons in a reaction and achieve a full outer shell. So that explains why cesium is extremely reactive. Oh yeah. But another super reactive element is fluorine in the opposite corner of the periodic table. It doesn't have one or two valence electrons it can easily give away, nor does it have lots of electron shells. So why is it so reactive? Elements on the right hand side of the table still want a full valence shell, but it's easier for them to accomplish this by gaining one or two electrons than by losing six or seven of them. Fluorine and the other elements in group 17 are called the halogens. They need to gain just one electron to fill their outer shell and this makes them very reactive. You could say they're like a bunch of thieves who steal to get what they want. On the right hand side of the periodic table, smaller atoms are more reactive. A smaller atomic radius means that the valence electrons are closer to the positively charged nucleus and more strongly attracted to it. This strong attraction allows the atom to pull in another electron more easily, making it more reactive. Atomic radius increases downwards through group 17, so reactivity increases upwards. This makes fluorine the most reactive element in this group. The same trends in atomic radius and reactivity can be seen in groups 15 and 16, with reactivity increasing up each group. But why is fluorine more reactive than nitrogen or oxygen, the smallest atoms in group 15 and 16? With each step to the right, another electron is added to the valence shell. Nitrogen has 5, oxygen has 6 and fluorine has 7. While you might assume that adding a valence electron would make an atom bigger, it actually has the opposite effect. The atomic radius gets smaller because adding electrons increases the negative charge of the valence shell. This creates a stronger attraction to the positively charged nucleus, pulling the electrons in closer. As you move along a period, electrons are added and the atomic radius decreases. Because of this, on the right hand side of the periodic table, reactivity increases as you move across from group 15 to 17. The combination of these two trends makes fluorine super reactive. To sum up the trends in the periodic table that explain reactivity, atomic radius increases down each group and to the left across each period. On the left side of the table, elements lose electrons more easily as atomic radius increases, so reactivity increases to the left and downwards. On the right, elements gain electrons more easily as atomic radius decreases, so reactivity increases to the right and upwards. And the noble gases in group 18 typically don't react at all.